Hey folks, I know it's been a while, but I am back with a new random Wi-Fi match. Um, I got myself a new computer with a new PCI uh, capture card, so I hope you're enjoying the new, the newly improved video quality. Um, it's here to stay, uh, unless I hear complaints from you guys. Um, so anyway, my opponent today is an Uber abuser, six Ubers on his team, uh, and so he's being a little cheap little bastard, especially starting off with two Palkias, but you know what, if he wants to be cheap, I can be cheap too. Um, so I'm showing that they're both exerting pressure, because I'd always wondered, you know, does pressure stack? Um, so I go ahead and use Sleep Powder on Roserade, um, and... Blastoise is going to um, use Blizzard, uh, which is his only attack that does neutral damage. Water Spout will be resisted. Um, so I go ahead and put one of his Palkias to sleep. And the fact, that, you know, Palkia has base 100 speed, um, and Roserade only has base 80 speed. Maybe it's 90. Um, but anyway, uh, there should be no way that... Um, that Roserade would be faster than Palkia unless he doesn't EV train at all. And I uh, have much other um, evidence that he doesn't EV train, uh, train at all. So I go ahead and um, I'm going to violate Sleep Claws and put his other Palkia to sleep. As I said, if he's going to be cheap with uh, spamming Ubers, then why not? Why shouldn't I be cheap? Okay, now I want to show you this. Uh, Blizzard now only has 5 PP, and I'm like, 5? How the hell did I use 3? And it's because... As I said, pressure stacks. Uh, so you have two, uh, two Pokemon with pressure, it'll deduct two PP, uh, two additional PP instead of just one. So, um, now both of his Palkias are asleep, and I'm expecting him to switch them out, but until he does, you know, I'm just gonna take advantage of the situation. Um, Blizzard, uh, this one hits and does absolutely nothing, so I'm gonna go ahead and have Roserade Leaf Storm, which does a considerable amount of damage. Um, so, uh, and then I'm hoping that Blizzard will be able to finish off the other one, assuming it doesn't miss. Um, so there goes the Blizzard, and uh, it does take out uh, one of his Palkias, which is great. Um, so now he's only got one sleeping Palkia, um, and he's going to send out another Pokemon that's going to be awake, but whatever. Uh, so he sends out Rayquaza, who has base 95 speed, and is almost always EV trained for max speed. Um, so... Uh, anyway, I switch out, uh, land, uh, switch out Lantern because, um, Blastoise no longer has any blizzards. Um, my, uh, Sleep Powder missed, and he uses Fly. I mean, Fly? Come on! So, I suspect that this guy is using a team. I'll have to, I'd have to do some checking, but I'm pretty sure his movesets are the default movesets. So, in other words, he's a Nuber that would, he's got a Nuber team that would work great for my tournament. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm just amused. So his Palkia wakes up and uses Spatial Rend, um, and against Lantern, which does a decent amount of damage, but Lantern's a special tank. Oh yeah, Rayquaza does fly, and which one hit KO's Tauros because it's a critical hit, even with the, um, uh, attack being halved, or not halved, but, uh, the, the attack cut from Intimidate. But, man, uh, cannot catch a break. Poor Tauros. Anyway, um, Ice Beam does, n is not, powerful enough to take out uh, Rayquaza, which is just too bad. Um, and so I send Roserade back out. Roserade is going to put his Palkia to sleep, since his Palkia is the bigger threat, um, really. And um, I'm going. And his Rayquaza, I'm expecting to use Fly. Instead does Dragon Pulse, which breaks my Sash and does a little bit more than half. So I know that it will take out... Um, Whoever, or I know it'll take out Roserade on its next turn if it's given the chance. I use Thunder even with its low accuracy because it'll do the most damage. Um, Roserade uses Sleep Powder, and I'm lucky that it hits and puts uh, Rayquaza to sleep. Again, I'm being incredibly cheap. But you know what? So is he. Um, Spatial Ren goes and does a lot of damage, um, but Lantern is a tank, and Lantern takes it. So Lantern does another Thunder, um, which finishes off Palkia, which is great. Um, and so now he's only got two Pokemon left, and I'm actually really curious to see what, uh, his last Pokemon is. Um, 
And let's see, his last Pokemon is uh, Kyogre, which makes it rain. Uh, that's why I didn't include Masquerade in, uh, in this team. I was expecting him to lead with Kyogre and bring in the rain. Um, so I go ahead and take out Kyogre with Leaf Storm um, and, and have uh, Lantern use 100% accurate Thunder um, in case that doesn't take him out. Um, it, you know, it'll take out uh, Rayquaza if... It misses. Anyway, Rayquaza wakes up, unfortunately, and uses Dragon Pulse to finish off Lantern, uh, which is just too bad. Um, but that's okay. Rayquaza's got no health left. Um, even with the 4x resist, I'm pretty sure um, Roserade's attack will be able to KO it on the next turn. But it doesn't matter because he resigns. So the cheap bastard uh, lost the match. Uh, to another cheap bastard, me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that cheapness. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.